Hi everyone from Popular Demand and my Instagram poll. I'm gonna make a breakfast today. I chose to make chicken and waffles. My friends and I love to eat this at brunch, so I figured I'd try, I'd try making them. See how I could do. So, I had chicken on the bone. Honestly, just buy chicken thighs or probably chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are my favorite, but you can also just get chicken breasts. Cut them real small so they don't have to cook long because we're lazy, we don't have time, we're hungry. Mostly we're, we're hungry. So anyway, so I sliced up the chicken real small into little bite-sized pieces and I'm gonna make a dough. All right, I'm gonna put the chicken in this bowl. This is probably about half a pound. I'm gonna do spicy chicken. So I'm gonna put some hot sauce. This is chocolate habanero hot sauce. I don't know, it's what I had. I don't think it's too spicy, but just a little bit, coat the chicken. Then I have this salt, pepper, onion, garlic mixture for seasoning. You wanna generously season. And then cornstarch. You can also use flour. I don't have any flour right now. I only have rice flour, so I figured cornstarch hopefully will make it crunchy. So I'm just gonna mix it, make sure everything's coated. And a lot of Asian cooking, they use cornstarch to make it crunchy make it super crunchy. So now I'm just gonna set this aside until we're ready to fry it in avocado oil. The sun just went away, but anyway, next we are going to make the waffle batter. And you will need a waffle maker for this recipe. It's just a regular waffle maker, but if you have a uh, Belgian waffle maker, that's even better. Let's do it. One cup of flour. I'm using rice flour, so hopefully it's not too different. One and a half tablespoons of sugar, which I forgot. Sugar. Fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm supposed to get storm coming through. A little bit of cinnamon. A few shakes. One cup of milk. I'm using oat milk. Fourth cup of vegetable oil. I, I'm gonna use coconut oil. So a fourth cup, we're guesstimating here. I'm just gonna use half of the half cup. Fourth cup of coconut, an egg, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Crack the egg, stir it up. So now we have to decide, do we want do we want to cook the chicken first or the waffles? Probably the chicken first. All right, this is almost a little thick. I think I'm gonna put just a slight bit more. Well, yeah, it's a little thick. Just a pinch more of milk. That's a little better. I'm gonna do a pinch more. I know liquid, you can't measure in a pinch, but you can, and I am, and you know what I mean. So this is good. See, it's like thick, but it still seems like a good texture. Almost like oatmeal. So I almost forgot, but you need a half a tablespoon of baking powder. I think this is pretty important. So add that in. <laughs> All right, fry up that chicken. So you wanna turn the stove to medium heat. Let it heat up and then put in some of your oil. I'm using avocado oil. This is what I have. Canola, vegetable, any oil you want. You do want a decent amount. I don't have that much chicken, so this should be good for me. Carefully. Place this in. Oh, that's the skin right there. Now be careful, because this is hot. I might turn it down just a little bit. Ah! And make sure you have a plate ready. I'm gonna get a plate. Ow. Honestly, just step away and let it cook. This is bubbling like crazy. I don't know, maybe, I guess you could cover it and then it wouldn't get all over the place. That's probably the smart thing to do. The waffle iron is on. So as soon as you, um, as soon as you plug it in, it turns on. So I think you actually keep it closed until the light goes green. And that's when you know it's hot, but the chicken is done. 
It's all crunchy. You want me to do the knife thing? I hate when people do this, but can you hear that? Oh my gosh. I know I shouldn't be surprised. It's so good because it's fried chicken, but that actually is really good. I don't know. I have these little maple syrup packets because I'm basically out of maple syrup. And instead of making a sauce, I'm just going to add butter. Stir up our batter. Seems like a good thickness. Wow, that kick from the chicken, it comes later. So you don't taste the heat right away. You taste it later. And let me tell you, I love habanero. I just think it has such a nice flavor. Ooh. But it's like still burning. Okay, this is definitely hot enough. Then you close it. And it will tell you. Can you hear it soon? I don't know, there's something about this machine I just don't trust. It's pretty smoky. Trust the process. Let's just trust the process. Oh. Yes. That actually looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Spray again. Get these little dots off. Okay. It's steam, it's not smoke, but I'm gonna try these little dots. Yeah, pretty standard waffle. It's pretty sweet actually. So this is the first one I'm gonna throw some butter on. Cause I love butter. Okay, it's done. Take it off. So I got my buttered waffle and now it's covered in chicken. I'm just gonna maple syrup. Let's see. I went light on the maple syrup, so try it as one bite. So the little waffle still works in a chicken and waffle. It's delicious. It's so good. Honestly, I would put, I'm putting a little more I don't like dry things, so that's why I'm putting a little more maple syrup on each piece. Mmm. It's simple. The sweetness of a waffle just pairs perfectly with fried chicken. It's, it's a little greasy. It just... It's got a kick to it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's magic. The textures just go together. And, um, yeah. Hope you have a great breakfast. Hope you make this if you have the time. Can't not. You can't not. You can't not make this and eat it or whatever. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. What do you think, Austin? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Good. Better syrup, but... Well, there's more syrup.